What's going on guys, River here. So today I wanna to tell you guys why I decided to upgrade. So first and foremost, I just wanna say that the R3 was a great beginner bike. It served its purpose valiantly and I really loved it as a beginner bike. All right, I gotta put this in standard mode. Because <laughs> going over these bumps, it twitches the wrist a little bit. And in A mode, it's so twitchy. But in standard, it's, it's a lot better. But yeah, like I was saying, the R3 was a great, great beginner bike. But there are some things that I want to discuss to those of you um, possibly, you know, starting on a small bike and wanting to upgrade. All right. So numero uno, um, buying a new bike is awesome. It's, it's cool because you know you're the first person to have this thing. So anything that you do to it or that has been done to it, um, you know firsthand what happened. Um, buying used, you, you don't know what you're really getting into. But as a new beginner rider, I'd say save up the money and buy a fairly low mile used bike, okay? Because a lot of times people who buy a new starter bike, they will upgrade within like that year. You know, they'll learn on it, realize that, you know, they wanna go faster and they'll upgrade. Um, one of the only reasons I didn't really upgrade after my first year was uh, finances. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't really in the position to to get a new bike because I didn't have the R3 paid off. But uh, just save up some cash and buy a used bike. And a lot of times, used bikes will already have a bunch of mods and things done to it that you won't have to pay for. So that's a good thing. Now segueing into that, into mods on a starter bike. Um, from my personal experience, I, I found myself modding my bike so much because, I mean, the main reason was because I thought it looked cool with all the mods, okay? It wasn't because it, by modding it, you know, I was like, oh, this is gonna, now it's gonna go as fast as a 600 and all that. No, I, I knew for a fact that it was not gonna pick up a whole lot more speed. But in saying that, um, all the mods that I did do, it's like, I don't know, all that money that you put into the bike, you could have put into saving, you know, for a new bike. You know what I mean? And, I don't know, do I regret it? A little bit, yes, because just knowing that, you know, all that money I could have saved and put into something else. Um, but, on the other hand, I loved how my R3 looked because it was pretty unique. Um, there weren't a whole lot of other R3s out there that looked like my bike. Um, so, you know, I, all, I always got lots of compliments on it. You know, a lot of people said, you know, I've never seen an R3 like that. You know, it's awesome. You know, a lot of times people thought it was a bigger bike who weren't too familiar with motorcycles. Um, so that's that. You know, it's if you're if you're planning to start on a starter bike and it's new, maybe throw an exhaust on it. Um, but other other than that, it's like don't mess with it too much because you're just going to be putting money into it that you're not going to get back. Speaking of that, okay, I bought my R3 brand new uh, out the door. It was close to five grand. Okay, close to five thousand um, dollars. With all the mods that I put on the bike, that was probably another fifteen hundred of of mods going onto the bike. I if I if I go to sell the bike, I am not going to get anywhere near that back. So <laughs> that's cool. You gave me a thumbs up. So just knowing that all those mods that you put on your brand new starter bike, you are probably not going to get many much of that money back. Okay, unless you could really fool somebody into, you know, saying like, oh, this is the best freaking starter bike out there. You know, I got all the top of the line stuff on here. You know, you're not you're not going to fool. I don't know. There are gullible people out there, but not that gullible. So if I could go back, would I start on the R3 again? Absolutely. Um, but if I would have known better, I don't think I would have put that many mods onto the bike. And the other thing about putting mods on the bike, 
putting all those mods on the bike, um, uh, some of them were were for performance. I know I wasn't going to be getting you know all the speed out of it and everything. Um, you know, I knew that going into it. But just wanting to go a bit faster, you know, wanting a little more acceleration, which you know I did the, you know I did the mod with the uh, um, the gears and everything, you know went down a tooth in the front, and I didn't really feel a whole lot more acceleration, you know, which was pretty disappointing. I didn't feel a whole lot more acceleration. Um, I just I just noticed that I was riding in the, in the higher revs more, you know, just wasting more gas. And especially with the M4 exhaust on it, God, it was so loud. That was so loud to be like in those high revs for so long, like for longer trips. That's like another reason why, you know, I had to get rid of that bike was because I literally outgrew the bike. Like, riding for longer trips was just getting so uncomfortable on the bike because, I mean, it is, it is a smaller bike. I don't know if I'll put these next to each other to show you, but I mean, it is a small bike. So now when I get off of this bike and I get on the R3, I'm just like, oh my God, how did I ride this for so long? You know, for like so much like longer trips. And then in closing guys, ever since I got this FZ09, um, you know, my YouTube has pretty much been, you know, directed towards the R3, you know, since I started my channel or started doing the moto vlogs. It's been directly directed towards the R3 for so long, even my Instagram. But when I started posting about the FZ09 and everything, um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of the other fellow R3 owners were saying, you know, pretty much the same thing, like, like, oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna get an, uh, an FZ09 or you know, FZ07, but you know, I don't think I'll ever get rid of my R3. I love it so much. That's what I thought too, until I started riding this bike. Um, and I, I haven't been on the R3 since. Um, like, honestly, guys, I have not been on that R3 since. And I don't have any desire to go back. You know, as, as weird as that might sound for as, as much as I love that bike, um, yeah, I don't have any desire to, uh, to hop on it and go for a ride. And it's like, I think it's just because all the stuff I could do on that bike, I could do more, I could do that on this bike and more. So... I don't know. I'm planning on selling it and I'm gonna get a little bike. <laughs> I'm gonna get a Z125 or Grom, a little bike to go hoon around in with my friends. But guys, if you have any questions about starting on an R3 or any questions about like owning a starter bike and wanting to upgrade, um, just feel free to let me know. Like, uh, go on my Instagram, drop me a drop me a message on Instagram, uh, drop it in the comments. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just here to help. Like, I love helping new riders and you know people like with the R3s because I know uh, I I dabbled with it for about three years and I've done so much to my bike. So. Um, um, yeah, if you have any questions, just you know, feel free to drop me a line, and uh, I will be more than happy to help you out. So until the next video, guys, get out here and ride. This is episode two or video two in my line of videos that I'm going out today to shoot. So catch me next week, and uh, until next video, get out here and ride. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.